This is Daisy Denton Crow Crusader. Wow, the Hayfilly people are all gone. I wonder if they get off early uh, on uh, Friday. That could be. I'll have to pay attention to that. Look, look at those seagulls coming up. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. It could be that the, uh, the auto line idiot will do something tonight, but we'll see. Uh, this morning's feeding, I haven't uploaded the video yet. Went pretty smooth, considering. Um, oh, look at our little crow babies. Uh, they're already landing on the, on the ground. I'm going to put everything again in the middle of the field because uh, that is uh, safest for the birds. I did put a couple sunflower seeds out for the, um, out for the uh, few uh, sparrows that came. Petey did come with his little group. Shocking. Look, all the uh, sunflower seeds are gone off the sidewalk. Uh, I put enough just for them and that's how it has to be because um, it's just too dangerous so we'll uh, we'll get down to work here my videos on so our little crows you can see them up in the trees there I counted about 30 35 crows today Wow it's just you know we were we were closer to the 45 and one day I counted about 50. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really awful. I'm missing crows, and we all know why. Hey, guy. Hey, babies. There you go. I don't have much cat food, because, uh, they had a big portion this morning. See, there's a lot of grain left. Either they're not getting a chance to eat it, they're being interrupted and harassed, or there's just not enough birds here. The seagulls don't, don't eat the grain. Uh, but the crows do. They eat it, right? There we go. We put our little nuts down here. I got some more. I can always go out in the field and get some more out. Well, we've eliminated the, the ugly janitor. Uh, Eric Schmidt's not here. He's usually gone about this time. And the hay food people are gone. So that's, that's something very good. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's put this down. Right. We do have a little bit of cat food here, not much, but uh, oh, Saturday, tomorrow's Saturday, and then Sunday. Oh, thank God, it was a really, really long week. I don't hear it anymore, but not yet. Look at this grain here that's left. I have no idea. There really shouldn't be that much left. Uh, let them get in here. No Seymour, but I think Seymour was there this morning. Um, that's my paper. I don't leave my trash. Okay, guys. Get in there. There's your little girls. We got the one mule girl. Gosh, she looks thin. Uh, the one mule girl. And uh, no silver girls. Wait. Yes, there, there they are. Two of them. But they were relatively quiet. And two meal girls, two silver girls. Well, could be one of them is Seymour and he's just being quiet. I have no idea. Or it could be one of his friends. We, we don't know. 
be the woman here with her dogs. We'll just turn around because we don't want her in our video. I got some extra nuts in the car. Well, I had my third infusion this week. Let's hope that that third bottle of antibiotics will lock out this infection. So I'm getting a little bit, uh, this whole thing is getting a little bit tiresome. There go the gulls for whatever reason. Don't know what spooked them, but here go our little crows. I think I'll also put a few extra nuts on the field. Got a lot of writing to do this weekend. A lot of writing. Headquarters in Migros, Hayfully, a lot of letters. Bryant and I will be very busy uh, getting those letters together and then I'll be mailing them registered. Uh, yes. We, we have to do this. We have to lock down Georg Schmidt and we have to lock down the Hayfully employees. Uh, they have no right to interfere with feeding the birds, harassing them, and uh, interfering with the work that I'm doing. So I, I don't go follow them around and uh, see what they're doing in their spare time, what their hobby is or whatever they're doing, interfering myself and their lives and they have no right to interfere in mine. So, uh, yes. And this land does not belong to them. And they have no jurisdiction over that and, and there's no ordinance against feeding wild birds. There isn't. It's not illegal. I don't know how many times I need to state this. I could write it in blood and the people still don't believe me. It's just unbelievable. But uh, someone that they respect, some idiot could come along and tell them exactly what I'm saying and, and then they'll believe them. I mean, I don't know what to say, okay? Is it because they're uh, racist against me because I'm American or I'm a woman? Uh, discrimination? What? What is the problem? Uh, just go and call the police or call the... Um, what do they call it? Uh, in German, the Jagdaufseher. He's responsible for wildlife and wild birds. And uh, he'll tell you what the laws are. Um, so uh, I guess that's the Department of uh, Manager of the, uh, of the Nature Preserves and so forth um, in America. Uh, I'm just, the word is just, uh, is failing me in English, um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, it's just an easy thing to do, so if you don't want to believe me, go get the facts yourself, so, game warden, finally, Gosh, <laughs> I don't know. When you live in a foreign country and you're speaking foreign language uh, off and on, and you know, sometimes I speak some Spanish um, to other friends, it's really difficult uh, at times when you're tired or you're sick or you're down and out, like I feel right now, to uh, toggle back and forth between the languages. So, even though I've been here 14 years. Uh, game warden. Yeah, Yachtelsayer. That's game warden in English, okay? Game warden, who's responsible uh, for that? I don't know exactly in America, but the translation would be game warden. So, it's just unbelievable. When I start feeding the birds, they start making all that racket over there. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, I'm going to go and throw down some more nuts on the field and then I'm going to go home and I got one more critter, one more critter to feed and then it's into the hot tub, well, 
a nice warm bath and time spent with my kitties. This has been a very hectic day today and uh, let's throw these peanuts down today. That'll give them something more to eat. Okay, let's open them up here. Oh, gosh, this, pack this packaging, right? Oh my gosh. Where's my Swiss Army knife? That's right. A woman cannot be without her Swiss Army knife. And I got two. A normal size and one on my uh, keychain. The color pink. Which I love. By the way, thank you for all your nice comments and, uh, and support of what I do and um, yeah and I applaud and respect and admire all of you out there who are going out of their comfort zone to feed uh, wild animals right trash flies just like Charlie oh my god every time I see a certain crow that has similar attributes to Charlie I get, uh, I get very, very sad. 